Hello, welcome to English with Mrs Smith, the channel designed to provide tips and techniques to help you gain top marks in English. In this series of three videos, we're focusing on writing skills, especially punctuation and sentence types. How can we vary sentence types? In this video, we're going to consider six different options, their impact and how we can use them for deliberate effect in our writing. Let's dive in. Remember the technical term for these different sentence types. Declarative. Make a statement. Close with a full stop. Interrogative. Ask a question. But please remember to close with a question mark. Imperative. Give a command. The imperative really comes into its own when writing to persuade or to advise. If it ends with an exclamation mark, it's exclamatory. Let's see how you might combine each of these sentence types in a persuasive speech. Statements describe or identify the issue. We live in a community under threat from corruption. Notice how the declarative sounds certain, irrefutable. In writing to argue or persuade, use declarative sentences to assert an idea or an opinion. How can we create positive change? What can we do to make a difference? Rhetorical questions like these are an invaluable tool in any persuasive speech or writing, drawing in the audience before providing a solution. Stand up for what you believe. The imperative is a direct call to action, providing clear guidance. It's especially effective after a rhetorical question. We must stand together. Stand up today. An emphatic technique to close a persuasive speech is to provide a slogan. Highlight it with the exclamation mark. It's a winner. In narrative, we frequently use declarative sentences to relate action or to provide description and create atmosphere. Notice how these three statements imply a sense of danger or hostility. A narrative comprising only declarative sentences can feel a little repetitive or dull. So consider how you might incorporate the occasional question. In this example, the use of interrogative intensifies the sense that the environment is hostile and the threat of death seems real. Questions relate to survival, a possible mistake, isolation and even death. Let's look at ways to combine sentence types in a narrative, alone. The single word conjures many possibilities. Yet the following longer sentence gives reassurance. She loved the calm and tranquility. Subsequent details restore a positive mood, non-threatening. She would light scented candles, run a deep, relaxing bath. Until something creaked on the stair. We are alert. What was that? The urgency of the question sparks alarm. Could it be... This fragment implies a threat. In the gloomy doorway, a tall shadow loomed. It was him. An exclamatory close provides an effective cliffhanger. A fragment is an incomplete sentence used for deliberate effect. It can convey a sense of confusion or shock. It can suggest an unfinished line of thought. A fragment often generates suspense and the missing words are replaced with ellipses, those three little dots. A balanced sentence is usually constructed with two or three similar clauses which are closely connected. It may be used to highlight a similarity or to emphasise a contrast. Have a look at these examples. Notice how a compound sentence is a really useful tool in creating a balanced sentence. A quick recap. 
In part one, we reviewed the assessment criteria for writing and then looked at the impact of using sentences of different length. In part two, we've identified declarative sentences, interrogative, the imperative and exclamatory. We've also visited fragments and balanced sentences. In part three, let's take a look at the simple, the complex and the compound sentence. If you enjoyed this video or simply found it useful, please let me know in the comments box below or simply click like. Feel free to subscribe to my channel and ring the bell to stay up to date with all future videos.